Hi, welcome to Easter Eggs. We're counting down to Easter and we're looking at a variety of things associated with Easter and that time of year. Today I want to talk to you about a face in the crowd as we get ready uh, to move toward Easter. Um, because there are people who were either touched by choice or they were touched by chance. But they were all touched by the cross. And each one has a story. Take, for example, Malchus. Malchus is a servant of the high priest. He was only doing his job that night in the garden when they came to get Jesus. Yet this routine raid would have been his last if he hadn't been quick enough to duck. The problem was an irate fisherman named Peter. Uh, the torches gave just enough light for him to see the flash of the sword. He moves his head, and Peter, fortunately, is a fisherman, not a, not a sword fighter. And... Malchus leans back far enough to save his neck, but not his ear. And Peter gets a rebuke. Jesus, and this is obviously a paraphrase, what are you doing? It's not the way we're going to do it. Malchus, on the other hand, gets an ear put back on his head. And the event becomes a part of history. History, that is, for everyone except Malchus. Had it not been for that telltale blood stain on his cheek and cloak, he might have awakened the next morning thinking he had, he had a crazy dream the night before. That he'd had his ear lopped off and all of a sudden reinserted by this Savior. Some believe that Malchus would have later come to know Christ and was counted among the believers at Jerusalem. We don't know that for sure. But we know one thing. From that night on, Whenever Malchus would hear about the carpenter who rose from the dead, no matter what the reaction, I promise you he didn't scoff. As a matter of fact, I don't think he made fun of it at all. Whether he actually believed that Jesus was everything he said or not, I think every time he heard a story, he tugged at his earlobe <laughs> and he remembered He went because he was there because it was his job. He went to his job by choice. The encounter that he had with Jesus, at least in his mind, would have been by chance. And yet for Jesus, it wasn't a chance at all. It was all part of a plan. And even though Peter did his best to derail it, Malchus was left with a reattached ear that he couldn't explain, that he couldn't understand, except for one thing, that Jesus of Nazareth had reached down and picked up his bloody ear off the ground and stuck it to his head, and it stuck. I often wonder what stories he might have told his kids. I often wonder what stories he might have shared among his friends. Did he believe? I, I like to think that he did. I would have. How about you? But on a grander scale, hasn't Jesus done enough for you already for you to believe? What stories do you tell about Jesus and what he's done and how he's moved in your life? See, those stories are part of the surprise, the fun of celebrating Easter each year. And so share your stories. Give testimony. Allow others to hear about Jesus from you. I look forward to joining you next time as we talk about Easter eggs.